Hey you guys, Brown Eye KK coming to you again with another book review. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. The book I read this week was A Reliable Wife by Robert Gulrick. Description will be below in the description bar as always. This book takes place in the early 1900s in the cold Wisconsin wilderness. We find Ralph Truitt who is um, an older wealthy businessman and he has lived the majority of his latter years in a type of self-inflicted solitude and has decided that he would like a reliable wife. And so what he does is he places an ad in several newspapers in several cities seeking just that. Catherine answers his ad and in the beginning of the novel um, we're basically waiting for her to arrive via train at the train station in Wisconsin and we can already see that she's starting this relationship off with or under an air of suspicion and deceit. We know something's going on but we don't know quite yet what her plan is. She is seeking love and money. How she plans on receiving that is part of the plot that begins to thicken. So. Catherine answers this ad. The picture that she sent to Ralph is not a picture of her. So of course when she steps off the train, Ralph already knows that something's going on and he lets her know that he knows this relationship is beginning with a lie, um, but he's going to go ahead and go through with it anyway. Um, so through the story we find Ralph's mission, which is to yes, have a reliable wife, but to also reunite with his long lost son. Antonio. Um, we also find out what Catherine's plot is and what she's doing if she's running from something or someone and how that all unfolds. Supporting characters in the story are of course Antonio who is the long lost son, um, Mr. and Mrs. Larson who take care of the Truett households and animals and cars and lands and all of that. So very interesting story. A couple of plot twists are in the story. Very beautifully written. Um, there are some areas in the middle of the novel that kind of um, drew the story out for me. I did appreciate the writing style because it allowed you to get to know the characters, really, really get to know the characters, their thoughts, um, you know, and to watch them grow and progress throughout the story. So it was a beautifully written novel. However, you know, I did have an issue with some of the long winded passages in the middle of the story. For that reason, I give the book three out of five stars. So three out of five stars for a reliable wife. There is a passage that I would like to read to you guys that basically just describes what the story was about. Um, and so let's see if I can find it. Okay, so it goes like this. It was just a story of how the bitter cold gets into your bones and never leaves you. Of how the memories get into your heart and never leave you alone. Of the pain and the bitterness of what happens to you when you're small and have no defenses but still know evil when it happens. Of secrets about evil you have no one to tell. Of the life you live in secret and knowing your own pain and the pain of others but helpless to do anything other than the things that you do and the end it all comes to. It was a story of people who don't choose life over death until it's too late to know the difference. People whose goodness is forgotten, left behind like a child's toy in a dusty playroom. People who see many things and remember only a handful of them and learn from even fewer. People who hurt themselves, who wreck their own lives and then go on to wreck the lives of those around them, who cannot be helped or swayed by love or kindness or luck or charm, who forget kindness the feeling and practice of it, and how it can save even the worst, most mishappened life from despair. It was a story about despair. Love that passage. So that passage basically just describes what the story is about um, and sums it all up. It was done at the end. I thought it was a great way to kind of lead towards the ending of the book. Um, so once again, I give a reliable wife three out of five stars. I would recommend it for a read. Um, it was just a little slow for me in the middle, but it was a great story and I would recommend it for a read. The book that I will be reading for this week is Color Me Butterfly by L.Y. Marlowe. You guys can't see that and there's no cover for this book. That's a little better. Color Me Butterfly by L.Y. Marlowe. So 
Thanks so much you guys for watching my review on A Reliable Wife. I hope that you enjoy the rest of your week and your weekend. Please rate, comment, and subscribe and leave me a little message below and let me know what you're reading and any suggestions that you might have for what I should read in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye.